Hi, and welcome to the Agile Academy. In this Agile and Practice talk, we'd like to show you how developers on an Agile team use pair programming to lower defects, help deliver faster, and produce higher quality work. Let's have a look at how this practice works. The way developers are collaborating is a bit like driving a car on a rally. One of you is driving while the other is navigating, reading the map. While the driver is keeping their eyes on the road, the navigator is focusing on the destination and how to get there. Regardless of the kind of work you do, you may want to try out collaborating with a colleague in the same way, especially when you are dealing with a difficult task. It works best if both people are peers, sharing the same role and having a similar skill and experience level. Here are Bill and Liz, two developers from the Agile team who are delivering a new employee performance review system for the HR department. They will be working together side by side at the same computer, solving the same problem. They take turns using the keyboard and mouse. At the moment, Liz is the driver, while she is writing the code and performs tests on that code. Bill, as the navigator, observes her work, considering the strategic direction, the next steps and potential pitfalls. He also considers if this is the simplest design possible and comes up with ideas for improvement. After a period of time, they swap roles and Liz navigates while Bill drives. Because they are constantly communicating and reviewing together, they produce higher quality work at a faster pace than either could do on their own. It also ensures that more than just one developer knows each part of the system. Pairs swap places frequently throughout the day and also new pairs are formed to promote sharing of knowledge throughout the team. At the same time, a uniform style of planning is carried out, which makes working together easier. It also creates an ownership and commitment to the collective code. Despite the benefits, pair program is not always easy. As a driver, you have someone observing you constantly, and when you're navigating, you need to refrain from rushing to point out details like missing semicolons or typos. Instead, you need to give the driver time to write and rewrite the work while you focus on the direction the work is going. Also, you should consider that pair programming isn't suitable for all tasks or situations, but if you choose to do it, you need to respect each other, communicate and make it easy on yourselves by using a computer with a big screen. Enjoy the ride! In this Agile and Practice talk, you saw how Agile teams collaborate and use a practice of pair programming to increase the quality of the work. You may also from time to time hear the term pairing used too. This can refer to two business people or one business person and a developer working together on one piece of work. You can see that building quality into a task isn't just limited to IT folks anymore. Pairing can also encourage the pairs to take pride in their work because they are sharing it with someone else. If you want to learn more about Agile, the Agile Academy offers a range of courses delivered by accredited trainers and lots of open source material, which you can find on our website. If you have any questions, also feel free to contact us on our website or drop us a line on Twitter. Thank you and enjoy your Agile journey.